just to start off, writing for Broadway, very different from writing something like Never Wanted to Be That Girl, except I heard kind of tinges of that and, yeah. and the country style within the show. When you and Brandy sat down to write, what was the process like? Well, we, we started out just sort of doing what we were already doing. Mm -hmm. You know, Robert Horn had heard a record that Brandy made that we wrote most of the songs on, and he loved that record so much, and he, you know, always insisted that we just do what we do because that was sort of the point of going outside to bring in some authenticity as far as the country world. Years into it, I think we got a little scared and we got a little intimidated by the shows we were seeing and the size of their scores. And so we started to chase uh, more of a Broadway sound, what we thought, and none of those songs held on. When we were trying to be anything but ourselves, which is the truth in life, it's the truth about our show, you know, the audience felt that. And um, so we went back to the drawing board and said, let's just write them the way we would write them in Nashville. And we'll let the music director, Jason Hallen, take over and, and do the part of making them sound like they fit in this world without compromising the songs. Well, and I feel like... Broadway and country music are two of the purest forms of raw storytelling. And so it makes so much sense for this these two worlds to come together on stage. I mean, seeing it for yourself, are you like, Of course. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, I, I was always a little surprised how surprised everyone else was. Right. Because I said, wow, we're so close. You know, the only thing that's different is that a lot of things that we wouldn't be able to say in the country world we get to say here. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, did you bring some of that into the show? Things that maybe you wouldn't typically oh, write for someone else? Absolutely. I mean, there's a lyric in the opening number that talks about corn being the same going in as it is coming out. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we certainly couldn't get uh, Blake Shelton to say that line. <laughs> well, and some of the comedic relief as well, like you just mentioned, within is is prevalent throughout the show. Um, how did you like, is that a new muscle for you to flex? Or are you like well, naturally very we're funny? Pretty, I mean, we like to think of ourselves yeah. as pretty funny. I found that maybe I'm not as funny as I thought when I would bounce ideas off of, <laughs> off of the other, you know, creatives. But truthfully, Brandy and I, we do have a lot of fun when we're writing songs anyway. And we'll always go, oh, what if it was this? Even if we know we're not going to be able to get it in there. But here again, we were able to try and Jack O'Brien would say, try it you know, see, and we would be a little timid about it. And then, then the cast would hear it and say they loved it or didn't. And, um, that really, that really helped us, everybody else sort of cheering us along. We felt so embraced and lifted up by this team that we, we really got to shine. I mean, they have really put a spotlight on this music and on us. And we're, we're just so grateful. Um, and, it, the Nashville community seems to have really been supportive of you and, and artists that you've worked with. Kelsey Ballerini was at the opening, Little Big Town. Um, how has Shucked kind of blossomed there, well, would you say? Well, so many of the people that Brandy and I work with have known we were working on this for right. years. I mean, we did an out of town of a very different version of the show and Casey Musgraves and Miranda Lambert came came then and now they're back and Casey came to opening and getting to watch the evolution of that um, was it's really fun through their eyes uh, and they've just been so supportive I mean really like you said Kelsey and Little Big Town and uh, Sam Hunt and Walker Hayes all these people that I've had the you know honor of working with to show up and support us on this side of things it's uh, very gratifying. What would you say is the kind of algorithm to writing a perfect country song and then how did you did you feel like you had to judge that at all for like the perfect Broadway country song well luckily the, the one the one thing that goes in the algorithm is don't tell the whole story in three minutes like we have been our whole career you know yes. now we, we only get to give a little at a time that's hard for us uh, but as far as again it's the authenticity even if a song feels so specific to a character there has to be some part of us some truth in it or it won't translate you know so I think that just the algorithm is keeping it real yeah three chords and the truth that's right, right. that's right it's true now now we'll say once Jason Hallen got a hold of these songs there were a whole lot more than three chords <laughs> <laughs> true I will say it sounds like so many of these could be singles though you oh, know? I love that that was that was intentional Walls, that was yeah. the world we came from was writing singles for records it almost feels like we made an elaborate 
you know, 10 year record. And we, we intentionally had some of those songs that we felt like could stand alone. Somebody will independently owned walls. I think you mentioned that these were songs that we wanted to be able to pull out of the show and people still to feel it because then hopefully that would take them to the show. You know, well, and I have to ask the first time you heard Alex Newell sing independently owned. What was that like for you? Well, we were in a we were in a reading and Alex had already been cast. <laughs> they came in, sang the song. We were flattened. We all the <laughs> creatives all stood up in the room for, a you know, a very small standing ovation. I took my music book and I just threw it on the floor and the pages went everywhere. That was the only thing I could think to do. I was like, I, I have to break something. Uh, it, you know, it's, I've never heard a voice like that. And I've gotten to work with uh, the best. And they are the best. Remarkable. Well, now you can add Tony nominated to your long resume of accolades. Congratulations, Thank Shane. You so